What is up guys, Adam here, welcome back to the second episode of my Aston Villa career mode. Now, I read through every single comment and I tried to answer every single comment last time, but you guys went absolutely nuts. I can't handle all these comments. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you guys have to be the best people in the world. Just look at my freaking shortlist. Let's go take a look at my shortlist. Look at how many players you guys suggested me. Just look. Just look. It keeps going. It keeps going. It just keeps going. There's so many players you guys suggested me in the comments down below. And I'm going to be scouting every single one of them. And when their final scout reports come back, I'm going to try to make some offers for some of the players. Now, what I'm looking for... What I am looking for is a backup left wing, right wing. So I think I'm going to go for Osman Dembele. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Maybe a backup striker. If I can if I can sell one of the strikers on my bench, maybe a Bongalhor, uh, maybe Kozak. And I'm looking for a backup right back or left back, a backup center back to replace Richardson. And I think I'm going to be trying to sign Renato Sanchez in the midfield. And I'm looking for a goalkeeper. Now, what I wanted to do is because I did get to use him all that much in my AC Milan career mode and you guys know I'm a huge fan of him and he's deserving of the praise I'm gonna try to loan Gianluigi Donnarumma because he's absolutely incredible I'm gonna go for a two-year loan with a future fee of five million for Gianluigi Donnarumma right away because I want to see if I can get him and purchase him at the end of his loan spell and you know just probably have him for the future and for right now, I'm going to be loaning Marcus Rashford because, you know, everybody's hyping him. He he looks like he's going to be a great player in the future. So I'm going to go for a two-year loan length with a future fee of $2 million just to see what Manchester United have to say. Okay, so Kevin Toner has been sold to Barnett for £130,000 and the board has allocated us £110,000 for our current transfer budget. Also, Keenan Davis has been sold to Drogheda United for 70 k and the board has allocated us 60 k and a final scout report on Jack Butlin doesn't really matter. So Milan have said they decided to reject the 5 million pound future fee option we inserted for Gianluigi Donnarumma. So what I'm going to do is just go for a two-year loan for Donnarumma. Also, Manchester United do not want uh, 2 million in two years for Marcus Rashford. So what I'm going to do is a two-year loan spell for Marcus Rashford. Not much else we could do. We do have a game coming up against Manchester United right now at Villa Park. Manchester United won their first game 2-1. We won 2-0, so we're above them in the table. This is going to be a very tough game, so let's jump into this match. Hopefully, we can pick up our second three points in this career mode. One change from the last match. I'm going with Guzan Bakuna, Akore, Clark, Amavi, Mendy, Veretut, Westwood, Adama, Locadia, and Sinclair. First match at Villa Park this season. And let's just skip forward. I do want to see Manchester United's lineup before we actually start playing them. It does look like they're going with Schweinsteiger. I think that's Romero in goal. I don't know why they're not going with De Gea. Maybe he might have been sold, but they're possibly going to show the lineup right here. Right now, they're showing our lineup. We're going with the formation that won us the game against Bournemouth last time in the first game of the season. I just remembered right now, they're going with Romero, Darmian, Jones, Blin, Shaw, Schneiderlin, Valencia, Herrera, Schweinsteiger, Martial, and Wayne Rooney. Uh, Martial playing at left mid, and they're going with a 4-1-4-1 formation. That's a pretty weird formation. Locadia scored on his debut last time. Maybe he can make his mark right here against Manchester United to secure himself as a sure thing. I know it was against Bournemouth, and it was quite an easy victory, but we cannot take Manchester United lightly. Here's Schweinsteiger. Let's block him well. That's nicely done by Bakuna. Schweinsteiger on the edge of the box. The shot is blocked by Bakuna. Very, very nice block. Manchester United putting on the pressure early on in this match, and they have a corner coming up. Fifth minute. They're going to send it short to Ander Herrera, and that's blocked by Sinclair. Can Adama get there? Nicely done, Adama. Send this up to Locadia. Okay, Locadia. Somebody help him out. Somebody help him out. Who is that? That's Mendy. Mendy, nicely done running forward to Sinclair. Sinclair into Mendy, and that's blocked by Blind. Let's go Westwood. Up to Veretut. Adama to Locadia. Locadia, bring this inside. Up to... That's nice. Get there, Adama. Adama with the shot. Adama near post. There it is. We've struck first. Ball didn't look like it was going to get to Adama, but Locadia played a through pass. It hit off the defender's legs, and that one goes in near post by Adama. First goal in the Barclays Premier League, and we're up 1-0 to Manchester United at Villa Park. Manchester United don't look like a team to be feared right now. We struck first, and they're just coughing up the ball at like every chance they get. Bakuna to Veretut. 
Vera took nicely done to Westwood. Westwood up to Amavi. This is some very nice passing play. Into the middle to Veratut. Veratut up to Locadia. Locadia is going to lay it off to Veratut. Veratut back to Locadia. Let's have a shot from outside. That's blocked by Schneiderlin. Okay, let's get this Sinclair. Nicely done. Sinclair, let's whip this in. Locadia, get there. Locadia, edge of the box. Locadia, the header. And <laughs> we're up 2 0. We've struck again. Locadia, two goals in two games. Oh, what an amazing striker. I know it's early on in the season, but to get there, nice cross from Sinclair. Very, very nice cross from Sinclair. I don't know why they're going with Romero in goal. Second goal in the Premier League, and we're up 2-0 against Manchester United on Legendary. This is absolutely incredible. Watch out. Here's Schneiderlin on the wing. Schneiderlin's going to probably attempt to cross it. That one's into the middle. It's caught by Guzan. Referee should be blowing the whistle sometime soon because the half has drawn on way too long. That's the end of the first half. We're up 1-2-0. Goal by Adama and a goal by Locadia. Lind on the wing. Blind's going to cross it in. Let's just keep him there. No, that is poor. That is very poor. Blind into the middle. Darmian to Memphis. Oh, my goodness. And United cut the lead to one. A shot by Memphis to buy, and that one's into the back of the net. Brad Guzan had no chance on the shot. I needed to do a better job of marking Blind, and that ball in to, I think that was Darmian, to Memphis Depay, and it's 2-1. Watch this pressure from United. Watch this pressure from United. Schweinsteiger, the edge of the box to Herrera. That's blocked by Veretut. Locadia, up to Mendy. Please don't tell me he's injured. Mendy, up to, uh, that is Adama. Let's do a ball roll, nicely done, to Locadia. Locadia, can he turn? Lay, lay it up. Okay, Mendy, to Veretut. Westwood, not Veretut. Westwood is there. We score on the counter attack. And it's 3-1, and we're secure from danger right now. I know even if they score, we're still going to be 3-2 up. Oh, what a counterattack. Adama starting the run. And just a beautiful string of passes. And we're up 3-1. Manchester United do not know what hit them right now. Oh, beautifully done by Adama into Locadia. Locadia to Mendy. Mendy to Westwood. Westwood, who came in instead of Guy. I think that's how you told me to say it. And Westwood scoring. First goal in the BPL, and we're up 3-1. The upset at Villa Park. We win 3-1 against Manchester United. A goal from Adama, a goal from Lacadia, and a goal from Westwood. And we walk out of here with three points. Two games, six points. And it's looking good. The, the few signings I've made have proven that they can play here. And we walk out of here with three points. I know it's still early on in the season, but we're looking really good. Who is going to be my man of the match? They give it to Brad Guzan, but... I'm going to give my own personal man of the match to Jurgen Lokadia. He played a part in all three goals, setting up the ball to Mendy to give to Westwood. He scored one and he assisted one on Adama's goal. So for that, I am going to give him the man of the match. We've got a transfer offer for one of our right backs, Alan Hutton. 1.1 million from Sunderland. I'm going to be going ahead and accepting this offer. So only one change in the training for this next month. We still have Adama, Veretut, and Amavi. Now I'm putting Locadia on headers and volleys and on chipped penalties. I'm going to be training him because I want him to outgrow his potential. And in the first training, Amavi goes up to a 76 rated left back. So Manchester United have accepted the loan offer for Marcus Rashford. He's a 69 overall and we're getting him on a loan for two years. It's very nice to pick up loan players. We can develop Rashford for the two year loan spell. And maybe we can buy him at the end of his two year loan spell when he goes back to Manchester United. So welcome to Aston Villa, Marcus Rashford. Hopefully you have a good two seasons here at Villa Park. AC Milan have accepted the two-year loan offer for Gianluigi Donnarumma. Now, we do have a backup keeper for Guzan because I'm gonna, still going to play Guzan, but we do have an option to play Gianluigi Donnarumma for two years. So, you know, maybe he can grow. He's going to replace Bun on the bench. He's a 73 overall at 16. That's, that's honestly incredible. And I'm probably going to be using him for the cup games, the games against lower league sides. And I think I'm going to be keeping Guzan for the rest of the season because he's been playing absolutely fantastic. He's been making some nice saves. And I find older keepers, for some reason, just, I don't know, they tend to save everything. And he's going to be like a mentor to Gianluigi Donnarumma, even though they're close to the same rating. Alan Hutton has been sold to Sunderland for 1.1 million, and the board has allocated us roughly 900,000 pounds to spend. Another loan offer that I am going to be making right now is Andreas Pereira from Manchester United. So that's going to be two players that we loan from United. I'm going to go for a two-year loan spell. And let's see if we're allowed to do a 2.5 million future fee for Andreas Pereira. 
So some fairly good news from Manchester United. They say that they're going to evaluate the option to buy. That's usually a very good sign. That means they are going to be accepting the two-year loan offer plus a future fee of $2.5 million for Andreas Perea. So looking at the BPL table right now, it's something you wouldn't see. You have West Brom first. Manchester City, obviously. You have Aston Villa third. You have Arsenal fourth, obviously. Southampton fifth. Everton, Crystal Palace. And we're taking on Crystal Palace right now in the second match of this episode. Let's jump into this match. Let's see if we can pick up nine points from three matches in the BPL. The exact same lineup. We're going with Guzan Bakuna, Okori, Clark, Amavi, Mendy, Veretut, Westwood, Adama Locadia, and Scott Sinclair. We're here away from home. I don't know exactly what Crystal Palace's stadium is called. They're going with Speroni, Kelly, Delany, Dan, Suari, MacArthur, Kabai, Zaha, Bolasi, Shamak, and Emmanuel Adebayor. They have Wickham on the bench, Hangalan, Sako. So they have a fairly decent lineup. But I think with the form we're in, we can escape here with three points at Selhurst Park. I'm going to have to be learning all the BPL stadiums. You know me. I'm a Serie A watcher. I watch the BPL here and there. But I only know the major stadium. So let's do this. Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park. Away from home. Let's try and escape here with three points. Let's see if Locadia can start it off right away with an interception. Nicely done by Veretut. Back into Locadia. Locadia forward and that one's blocked. And that one's going to go out of play. Actually, no. Veretut on the ball. Let's send it across. Who's there? Locadia and it's caught by Speroni. To Mendy. Mendy into the middle to Locadia. Can he get this? Locadia, the cross into the middle. The oh, what a save by Speroni. What a save by Speroni. That is incredible. Near post, one-handed save. And now they have a corner. 21st minute. Let's get there. Let's get this out. Guzan punched away. Nicely done to Locadia. Can he get there? No. Okay. No, no foul. And referee, surely not a foul. I wasn't even, I wasn't even trying to get the ball. Joan Kabai, very good free kick taker. Very, very good free kick taker. He's gonna shoot this one over the wall, and that's blocked by Amavi. Let's take this forward, Adama. Adama into Ver Westwood. Westwood up to Adama. Adama to Veretut. Let's have a shot. And yes, far post. Oh, the save by Speroni. Bakuna up to Adama. Adama tries to send it across. Bakuna's gonna get there. Let's get there. Mendy with the header. Oh, Mendy comes flying out of nowhere. And that's gonna be a goal kick. It looked like it might have been a corner. Crystal Palace just putting on so much pressure. Kabai the shot, Guzan the save. How long is this first half? This first half has literally been 10 minutes long. I don't understand. They have a corner. Guzan, please get to this. Please get to this. Okay, let's just clear it because it's going to be the end of the half. End of the first half has been all Crystal Palace. I need to get my shit together because nothing's working. Okay. This is some nice... Pa no. Here's Zaha into Ledley. Let's... Oh, I couldn't get a... Oh, I couldn't get a tackle off. I could not tackle the player. I, I, my player didn't want to slide. 53 minutes in. We're down to Crystal Palace. We beat Manchester United and we are struggling against Crystal Palace. FIFA sometimes just makes no sense. A string of quick passes. Zaha gets the ball into Ledley. I tried to make a challenge with Bakuna. But for some reason he wasn't sliding. And we're down 1-0 in the 53rd minute. Veretut up to Ayu. Ayu, let's send in this. Yes, Locadia, take this, take the sh- Yes! Yes! Ah, oh, finally in this match, something goes my way. My players just didn't feel like they wanted to show up today. Nice cross in from Ayu. I thought he was gonna go with his head if he was closer to the goal. But Locadia, third goal in his, in his three matches of coming in. Nice cross by Ayu. We don't deserve this goal, but we got it. And now it's 1-1 at the death, the 90th minute. Against Crystal Palace, we're struggling, but versus Manchester United, we had a very easy game. That's the end of this match, 1-1. Locadia scored. Probably shouldn't have conceded. My defender just didn't want to slide tackle. And we have seven points from three matches in the BPL. Obviously, we're not going for the league title. There is no chance we're going to get the league title. But we still walk out of here. We scrape out of here with one point. My man of the match has to go to Brad Guzan. He made 11 saves, 9.4 match rating, and he kept the one goal. He, it could have been so much more. Could have been like 3 or 4-1 for Crystal Palace, 
but Brad Guzan comes out of here with a 9.4 match rating. So before this episode ends, I'm going to be putting in two transfer offers, one for Osman Dembele, 75 overall, uh, looks absolutely incredible. This player has recently joined the club and won't move again. Let's see if I can do a one-year loan for him because he's definitely not going to leave. He's an important first-team player, so I don't think we're going to be able to get him in the first transfer window. And I'm also going to be going for Renato Sanchez, he's an exciting prospect. He has several years left on his contract. He's worth anything between £6 million and £7 million. So I'm going to be offering £6.5 million to Benfica for Renato Sanchez. Good news with a little bit of time left in the transfer window. Manchester United have accepted the two-year loan offer with a future fee of £2.5 million for Andreas Perea. We're not going to be get, getting the £2.5 million knocked off right now. And I don't know if you saw it. The transfer offer was rejected for Osman Dembele. So we'll have to wait up until January to try and purchase him. But... SL Benfica have accepted the 6.5 million transfer offer for Renato Sanchez. He wants 15k per week, so I'm going to give him 15k per week, 5 years, and I'm going to be offering him an important first team player squad role. There it is, Renato Sanchez contract offer accepted. We end this episode on a high 6.5 million for Renato Sanchez, 75 rated 18 year old central midfielder. What is not to love about this guy? Let's go take a look at his stats. I don't actually know what his stats are. He's going to be replacing Guy on the first team. And Andreas Perea is going to be coming in as a substitute. Because I do, I would really like to use him. He looks incredible. Three-star weak foot, four-star skills. Let's go take a look at Renato Sanchez. Just incredible shot power. High, high work rates. Four-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. 81 strength, 91 stamina, 84 sprint speed. Oh, just look at these mental and physical attributes, incredible skill attributes. So we're, we're building towards the future right now with these young players. So that's going to be the end of this episode. And we're going to start the next episode in full force. We're going to have a lot more games. The episodes are going to be really long in this, in this career mode. I'm looking for 20 to 25 minute episodes. So thank you guys so much for watching this second episode of my Aston Villa career mode. And I will see you next time do it do what just do it okay do what do it subscribe to our channel whoa calm down there shia just do it also follow us on twitter at the nobs yt just do it